wrong? Did you remember something? No. It's not that. I'm afraid I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. The fact is, I have a little bit of what my mother did. Sometimes I have dreams that are meaningful. Last night I had a dream about you. Okay. And I can't really explain why, but I feel very strongly that I'm supposed to tell you something, something important. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alexander. Alexander? Alexander. I don't know who he is or what he means to you. I don't know any Alexander. You will. You will meet an Alexander, and he will be extremely important to you. At some future date, he may save your life. Okay, um, good to know. <sighs> Thank you, detective. Thank you, Penny. Oh, before I forget, what did Penny say about Alexander? Oh, nothing. Just some silly stuff that didn't really make any sense. Why? Because my middle name is Alexander. My middle name is Alexander. My middle name is Alexander. I thought your middle name was Edgar. Been perusing the personal section of the Richard Kessel website again, have we? No, I changed my middle name to Edgar for Edgar Allan Poe back when I changed my last name to Castle. My given name is Richard Alexander Rogers. What a coincidence, huh? doing here uh captain gates said that i could come that's not what i meant shouldn't you be off looking at wedding venues or something no we haven't even set a date we're just trying to enjoy our engagement why is everyone trying to rush us they're being rushed now quentin's left for the wedding that 10 minutes from the altar they'll all be like when are you two having a baby bro your wife's hormonal because she's pregnant what's your excuse what uh what's your favorite food oh um are we talking everyday food or fine dining if desserts are included this cheeseburgers he loves cheeseburgers. I do enjoy a good cheeseburger. Okay. Anything goes wrong, call, mention cheeseburgers, and we'll come running. Good luck in there. Thank you. Listen, I'm kind of looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you, so don't do anything stupid in there, okay? Hey, don't worry. I think I already hit my stupid order for the day. Shut down in 2010. You really think you'd come back here? You can stay in the car if you're too scared. Alone? At an abandoned power plant? No, thank you. Maybe we should put something in our vows about following each other into creepy places. You do realize I just saved your life, right? Yeah, this is Detective Beckett. I've got a suspect at large. I'm gonna need patrol sweeps of the area along with the full CSU team at the scene. Real charmer, that one. I can't believe you marry her. How did you know I married her? One of your book jackets. You know, Richard Castle lives in New York with his wife, Senator Beckett, and their three children. Senator? Three kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of hard for me to believe myself, given all the crazy stuff that goes on between you along the crazy way. Crazy stuff? What stuff? You kidding me? She... I'll call you back. No, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say. I can tell you, though, that I'm really glad you stopped writing those stupid mystery books, okay? Because your serious literature is so much better. I write serious literature? Beckett, you hear that? <sighs> yeah, I heard. And I'm the president of Fantasyland. No, it was, it was Senator, actually. It was Senator, but not if war changes the future. Do you understand me? And you know why? Because it's the best idea ever. Castle, I am not getting married in space. Why not? We could be the first. Commercial space flight is only a couple years away, and you said you wanted it to be special. Yes, because when I was a little girl imagining my wedding day, being stuck in a small tin can with a thousand tons of rocket fuel strapped to my ass was exactly what I had in mind. Then we agree. If you don't want to go and look at wedding venues this weekend, then just say so. I don't want to go look at wedding venues this weekend. Before we plan the honeymoon, shouldn't we set a wedding date first? No, because the department hasn't even said if you can have time off yet. Besides, planning a honeymoon will help us set a date. Okay, can't wait to hear about this. Well, you don't want to go to Thailand during monsoon season, do you? Or New Zealand in the winter? No, you decide where you want to go, the best time to be there. Boom, lobby for those dates. New Zealand? Castle, are you using our honeymoon as an excuse to go and tour Middle Earth? I'm game if you are. 
I was hoping for something more romantic and less hobbity. Why does everyone always think those two are mutually exclusive? And it should be a place that neither of us have ever been to. Agreed. A perfect spot that would be ours and ours alone. Like Barcelona? That's where I took Meredith. Okay, um, Galapagos. I've always wanted to go there. Gina. Seriously? Yeah, part of our whirlwind honeymoon tour. Fine, Swiss Alps. I hear they're breathtaking. They are. No. Yeah. That's where uh, Meredith and I used to winter. You know what? I think a better plan would be for you to make a list of all the places in the world that you've never honeymooned, vacationed, or married any of your other wives. How hard could it be? Albania and Finland. That's all you got left. Well, we traveled a lot. Look, I'm sure I can think of some other places. Yeah, well, my vote's for someplace warmer. Ah, maybe you're right. Maybe we should just focus on setting a date. When we do this, let's not do the dead body in the middle of the aisle. Okay, good call. So what happened? Well, our victim entered the church during 6.30 mass with multiple gunshot wounds, made his way towards the altar before collapsing. But not before handing the priest a little something-something. Yeah. A baby? A boy. I'm guessing he's about three months. And he's hungry because he keeps going after the girls. Oh, who can blame him? Hi, buddy. What's your name, little man? That is a very good question. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, my God. It's Jenny. It's go time. Hi, Jenny. Are you having contractions? Are you... Oh. No? No, it, it's good to double check if my phone's working or triple check. Okay. All right, sweetie. Talk to you soon. False alarm. What is she, uh, two days past her due date? Three. So it could happen at any minute. Can you believe it? Me as a dad. No, Ryan, you're gonna be great. You guys pick a name? No, we couldn't agree on one, so we're waiting to see if it's a boy or a girl and then decide. May I suggest? Cosmo. No, you may not. And rather than pick a name for my kid, you should pick a date for your wedding. Pick a date for my wedding? I was planning on bringing her. Really? When is that? I might have plans. That's supposed to be good luck. We'll find a venue that has an indoor area, just in case. Even if we find the perfect place, it's not going to be available until at least October. October? Harvest season. Perfect. Perfect, except if you want my dad to walk me down the aisle. He's going to be in Europe on the research project. Oh, fine. We'll have a winter wedding. Didn't we say we wanted to do it outside? Right. Yeah, frostbite isn't very festive. Hmm? How about we get hitched uh, spring of next year? And what if I want to get married sooner? Who could blame you? Mm. You two are so adorable. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe we can find a venue for this summer. You want to have a wedding in the middle of a New York summer? No. You're right. Oh, I know. September. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's right in the Goldilocks zone. It's perfect. It is, except I'll be out of town every weekend on my book signing tour. So unless you get married on a Monday, September's going to be tough. Uh, <clears throat> a little unsolicited advice. Do you give another kind? In life? There is no such thing as a perfect time for anything. I'm sorry, that's advice how? Uh, don't wait. Hell, just go down to City Hall right now. You love each other. Stop talking about it. Just do it. <sighs> we'll Let's find keep, a date. Yeah, this okay. Thank it. I don't know, Castle. Maybe we're being too ambitious. Maybe we should consider the spring of next year. Although I didn't want to wait that long. No, I just... I want to be flexible. You already are flexible. <laughs> you see what I said there? <laughs> That's so funny. Well, actually, did you know Becca can lift her? No, did nothing. Hello, nothing. I'll tell you later. No. no. Tony Blaine. We searched his place, found clothes that tested positive for Ted's blood. Blaine's definitely our killer. But who is he? He's a researcher at a government think tank. Yeah, but what a researcher at a government think tank is doing involved in all this, we have no idea. Yeah, we may never know. Well, hold on. We've got a bolo out on him, and we're monitoring his credit cards. We'll find him. And when we do, maybe he can tell us who the Sanderson Cross is. Yeah, maybe. All right, great job, guys. Thanks. Well, it looks like the CIA wrapped all this up in a neat package. Yeah, with a bow, courtesy of my father. At least Ted's killer was brought to justice, you know, in a, in a way. Now, Blaine killed Ted, but left his body at Coney Island. It was my father that moved the body. Now, he could have put it anywhere, but he took it to Ted's apartment. Do you know why? To bring him into our jurisdiction. He wanted us to catch the case so he could work me for information. Well, maybe he was just looking for a reason to see you again, and this was his way. I keep making the mistake of thinking he's family, but he's not. You are.
September. 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 What? We're getting married in September. It won't be too hot. It won't be too cold. It's in the Goldilocks zone. It's perfect. Wait, wait, Castle, what about your book tour? Screw it. September. September.